that that you you name five people from you know different walks of life that had different paths. Um, your path and your walk is going to be trailed and, and followed with people that you hopefully care about, love you, care about you as well. Mm -hmm. Early on in life, those people could have been an inspiration, but in reality, a real inspiration comes from those, from that that coach, from your moms, from you know your big cousin, like. Take me to the yeah. personal if we can, because I know again you give us so much, and you even I think you give us a lot for for us to not see you, and but still be able to connect with you. Give us just some people maybe early on in life that that made sure you could be in the position you are now, or that helped you, or told you something, or didn't tell you something, and you use that to fuel yourself now. So there's three core people who mm -hmm. <clears throat> there's three core people who shaped me early on mm -hmm. and those three core people first and foremost was my mom sure. you know she was her and my dad wasn't together all the way until I was you know in in, in middle school right so my dad he, he was in prison he was in the streets and he went mm -hmm. to prison got out decided he was gonna be a preacher so I guess I'm a preacher's kid oh he's a yeah. transition Another yeah. transition there yeah. I, yeah. I guess that you failed so <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, <laughs> I'm just I joking. guess it depends on what, what the succeeded. preacher kid wants for, <laughs> yeah, for the kid. I was just playing. He succeeded. I am not singing hymns, though. I'll tell you right, that. Right, yeah. Right. I had they singing him. But anyways. That's what you came up with. Were you doing that early on? Um, once, he, once he did that? Bro, man, I think as part of black culture, like, a lot of us did, like, church choir or did, did like Easter poems or whatever it was. Yeah, you know, my mom, but but it wasn't because of my daddy, man. My mom, mm. is, she's a devout Christian, bro. Okay. So she like real, she kept me grounded, man. Um, I got a tattoo on my body that talks about forgiveness because I don't forgive easy. And um, mm. <clears throat> she hammered that in. So definitely my mom and um, then my, my, my big sister, she my big home. Mm. Um, she always keep me in check and when I was playing sports, I never forget. She came to me. This is, bro. I, I I never used to. Girls always put me in the friend zone, bro. We always start talking and laughing and kiki ha ha. And then all of a sudden, it was like, oh no, you my friend. I'm like, what? We got all the way. I, we sitting in this car. at this three in the morning. I'm talking. You think I'm here to be your friend? Like, <laughs> friend zone. <laughs> yeah. She was like, oh no, I don't see you like that. I'm like, oh okay, cool. Well, if it ever changes, I see you like that. Um, <laughs> so, none the, sure. so nonetheless, man, like when I, I played football, so then there was a period where that switched and I was like that. Like my mm. you know, my high school, my, my name and my records is still up. Right. And right. so there was a switch where I was like, oh, girls, oh, shit, damn. And my sister pulled me to the side and she was like, look, whatever you do, mm -hmm. don't you ever tell a lie. Mm. Put your truth out. And let them choose what to do with it. Be honest. And um, and she also told me when you when I get in a relationship, don't open Pandora's box because you can never re corral everything and put it back. Mm -hmm. So I live by those things. And so as I was growing up, I can tell you that I probably don't have any like ex or, or past partner that I just have like a bad relationship with. So I don't, I don't lie. I just right. hey, this is where I'm at. This is what I this this is what I'm on. Dad to accept the regret. Yeah, you, you you as a woman, you gonna make that choice. You feel what I'm saying? So my sister really like kind of shaped me who I am and the reason why I move like so above the table. Um, a lot of us got that game from a woman though. What Tupac said, got a name from a woman, got a game from a woman. Like all of that, all of that is true if we just listen. So yeah. shout out to big sis because like you said, that probably taking you a long long way in life with that. Yeah, 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 and and then the, and then the third person mm -hmm. will be my little sis. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once again, it's yeah. a woman. Yeah, absolutely, and and shit, it's women on my team. Like in every corner, mm -hmm. supporting women on my team. So my little sis, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we grew up close in age, so you know we was in high school at the same time. So you know she always gave me the juice, but in turn I gave her the juice. You right, right, yeah, niggas, bro. Niggas, niggas can't, can't really game her. Yeah, no, you can't juice her. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. She she done seen it. She hears it. She sees, you know what I'm saying? So she know. Um, and then the only reason why I didn't say 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 my dad, because my dad gave me a, a, a lot of juice, but he just, he missed a big area in my life. Mm -hmm. He was really on me in my life for like five years. That's are are y'all still building that relationship? No, nah, still... man, he's dead, bro. Rest, oh, okay. Rest, okay. Rest, okay. rest in peace, rest in peace, yeah. But he made amends, you know what I'm saying? What, what, so. do you, what does your family think of your music? What do they, do, do they... 
are they supportive in terms of, I'm sure they, you know, same, you were an athlete, so I know there's yeah. some support there. And then when you transition to something else, that could be tough, especially when it's not something, what we're doing that's always immediately gratifying in terms of yeah. what our parents would may want for us how, or our family may want for us. How has your family accepted what you do? Um, and do you, does it matter, you know, really? Um, you know, I've been wondering that question myself, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. my, eventually my mama had to come to, to grips with I do not do gospel music, you know what I mean? So She's still waiting on one to come out? I don't know, every time she say, only what you do for Christ gonna last. I'm like, well, Christ gonna have to find some love in what I'm doing, because... <laughs> right, <laughs> no, right. I'm just playing, man. No, I'm just, <laughs> you right, though. You, you right. <laughs> yeah, man, she... I, uh, I'm her son, so you know what I mean? So she, she ride for her son. Absolutely. But... Would she like to see me, my content, be something else? Yeah, man, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As far as the rest of my family, I think that transition for them, you know, they they real supportive. Depending on what side of the family you're talking about and who it is, but they, they, they real supportive. And I think for them, it was always cousin, uncle, mm -hmm. brother, whatever it is. But mm -hmm. in these last in 365 days, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they've been able to see this shift like, Oh, somebody shit. else realizes somebody oh. else talking about. Yeah. Oh, you really do this? I'm right. like, yeah. Cause when I come around family, I don't don't. Uh, they love me. They like do a song, play a song. I'm like, nah, mm. I ain't, I ain't on that. Yeah. But now, I mean, but they're they. That's what you want, though. It's it's a lifestyle. I ain't that. Zach North is in a mask. When I take this mask off, nah, I ain't on that. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm, family gets to still appreciate you for who you look yeah bro you have you don't think you lost yourself oh no 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 absolutely okay. not bro i'm super grounded man um good. outside of when i take this mask off man i'm really i'm introverted mm. you know what i mean i know it's hard to probably see that but yeah i can imagine that. social gatherings drain me bro i'm cool at home you know what i'm saying like i ain't never met a stranger i'm cool talking to people mm. but i don't need to I don't want to be in the lights. I don't want to be in the center of the room. I just want to chill and observe and just have a good time. So, Zach, I want to ask you and, yeah. and quickly to speak on it. Um, it was a time last year where I saw you were going through a lot. Um, and it seemed like the personal shined into the career, which is going to happen for all of us in some way, shape, or form. Um, take me back to you know that, that tough time you was going through um, and just how you was able to, to get over, of course, things had to occur for you to feel better about the situation, but take me to, to this many days later, how you, how you feel now? Yeah, yeah. Um, man, last year was, that was the hardest, hardest moment of my life. Goodness you know, my, my, my son almost died. Right. Like, you know, I'm the, the doctors come say, hey, need you to sign this waiver because he has a zero percent chance of living so we can't operate in two weeks we have to operate now bro there's no mental preparation for and then he says hey you know we're 97 percent successful but there's a three percent chance your kid could die that's a chance wait what right you know of course we want to hear a hundred percent i want to hear a hundred percent you didn't hear 97 percent. i heard you three percent chance my son yeah. could die yeah and i never forget you know, walking, uh, me and his mom was there. That's all only people who would be there through COVID. Right, right. We follow him behind the stretcher. He going into surgery. He was in a coma. Doors closed. At that moment, my entire life changed. It, it was I think you had just left a show. If I'm not mistaken, you, were, you had done a show. I know you were you were gone. You, you had to yeah. go. I, I, actually, I actually had just got back from doing some music stuff like that day. And as I had got in there, that's when I walked in on the doctor talking to his mom and um i'm like wait what happened and he was like we already do surgery i'm like wait what's going on mm. you know and um <clears throat> so yeah it, it, in that moment it changed man and before he went into the coma um i saw him struggling bro i saw him struggling to just stay alive and i told him it, w it was may 23rd mm. yeah i won't won't forget it. may 23rd we, we we in the emergency room and um, I said, bro, I said, man, I had a show tonight, but I'm letting you know I'm here with you. I'm canceling that. Mm -hmm. Bro, he, 
he, he was like, come here. So I come over, he grabs my hand, and he says, if you don't do your show, then it will all have been for nothing. I said, what? I was like, bro, I'm not going to the show. What are you talking man, about? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not, he was like, Jeez. he was like, go do your show. He was like, I'm good. Bro, this is my kid. I'm I'm melting in the inside. So in that moment, then they, they rush him out. We go to another hospital, specialty, and on the way, all I'm thinking about is the last thing he said to me was, I'm good. Go do your show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so I went and did the show that night. And uh, rocked it. If that was it, rocked it. Yeah. Yeah, man. And all year long, that's why I kept that same tenacity. Like while he was in there, I'm like, he's he's my him and his brother, my they my biggest fans. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So yeah, man. I I, I, I had he's to go good on. now. He's he's doing absolutely, better. absolutely.